That's why I came back top down. You're gonna have to do more than just. You're gonna have to do less when you. No, mommy, you know I, I always want you to. Okay, I was gonna make this a like music over video, but I felt like I'm sick of doing those, so I guess it's gonna be a chit chat. Get ready with me because I'm bored mostly. I normally come home from work and put makeup on because I'm bored, but yeah, and I thought I'd do like an update as to what's been going on with me personally, even though it hasn't been that much. Um, just been working and that's about it. I'm taking the Anastasia's brow definer and ebony and I'm gonna do my brows with this because I'm being lazy. And for some reason I can't find my dip brow. So it's somewhere on this vanity, but I clean my vanity because I got uh, a package in the mail from Makeup Geek yesterday so um, I had to rearrange all my single eyeshadows in my all my Z palettes so my vanity was a mess but I cleaned it it's kind of bittersweet when you get packages in the mail because you have to go through if it's eyeshadows, you have to go through all your eyeshadows. And, um, like, rearrange them. Like, they sent me a Z palette, but I don't know. Some of the eyeshadows are, like, everyday shadows. So, I wanted to put them in my other Z palette that I have that has, um, most of my, like, everyday eyeshadows that I use my neutrals and those are mostly um my Anastasia eyeshadows but I am gonna use some of the new ones that I got from Makeup Geek because they're just too pretty to just sit there and not be used so I'm gonna use some but as of lately I haven't uploaded because I just didn't burnt out on working if you don't know I do work full time so I um, half the time I'll come home from work and be like oh, I'm gonna go home and film a video and then I get home and I'm like I don't really feel like filming I really don't feel like it like I just I have no motivation I have no inspiration like and when I feel like I don't have any motivation I don't want to have do something and then not really like it and put it out so I feel like I didn't want to upload or put anything out because I just felt like I didn't have any looks to do you know what I mean like I had nothing to put out so I was just like I'll just not upload anything. I have put out a couple of looks on Inst for Instagram, but that's not just something I wanted to film. I mean, if y'all, if there's any videos that y'all want to see, please let me know because I never know what the heck to film. Like, my sister's always like, "Oh, you should do like a um, like a glitter look or do a cut crease." I'm like, half the time when I do cut creases. It's on like a wing and a prayer because I'm not the best at those. I mean, like, I ain't even that good. I ain't gonna lie. Those things are hard to do. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta make sure you got the right placement. You gotta cut it just right or you gonna mess up the whole look. So doing like cut creases, I'm just like, eh. 
I'd rather not because they take a lot of blending and precision and I don't be feeling like doing all that. So, yeah. I don't be feeling like doing all that. I did get some new makeup. I went to Sephora. Uh, follow me on Snapchat. You will see everything I hauled. But if you don't follow me on Snapchat, I'm going to tell y'all what I got. I got a new NARS um, translucent powder because mine was at the bottom of the barrel. And I was like, I just need to get a new one because I'm tired of like scraping in the bottom of this just to get product out. Like I was tearing up my um, Real Technique sponge because that's what I used to apply it under my eyes when I do my concealer and I set it. And I'm tearing up my Real Technique sponge trying to like scrape and get product out. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy another one. And I was so mad because I went to Sephora to get one of those powders and they didn't freaking have it. And I had to like... You know how you walk in Sephora and they have like all the showcases of just like all the really like popular mascaras or all the popular highlighters or all the popular powders and they're all on that one side showcase. There was one NARS powder left and I was like, this mine, I'm taking it home. But yeah, so that happened. I um. I cannot talk and do my eyebrows at all. I um I got the NARS powder. I got these velour lashes that I'm gonna wear. They're the velour and Sephora. I guess the Sephora collection velour lashes. And I got the fluff and wispy ones. And I got the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which you'll see me use a little bit later. I got this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I'm gonna use today. And what else did I get? Oh, I went to MAC and got a new Fix Plus because mine was just gone. So most, like, a couple things were repurchases. And then I really wanted to try those roller lashes. And I really love them. Like, they're so freaking pretty. I need to get some more. But, yeah, that's kind of, like, everything I got at Sephora. Um, I wasn't using my MAC Paint Chalet Paint Pie. But I've been liking using concealer on my, um... Uh, eyelid to prime i don't know why but i just feel like it's more lightweight like sometimes that um that paint pot can be a little bit drying so i just applied my maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 30 cafe which this is a really good like lightweight concealer it's one of my favorite drugstore concealers i've been using this for years I've probably been, I've probably bought like 10 of these concealers, 10. It's that good. It's only like $6. So if you're looking for a good drugstore concealer, I recommend this one. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's really good. So I've been using that to prime my lids lately and I've been liking it. And don't mind my beauty blender. like. I noticed my beauty blender had like, it was really stained on the bottom. And this is a brand new beauty blender. I don't really like the pink ones. I like the black ones because I feel like the pink ones are shaped different than the black ones. The black ones, for some reason, to me, I feel like they get bigger than the black, or they get, they're not as big as the black ones. There you go. My Anastasia Contour Kit. This is another trick I've been doing lately. This is Peaches and Cream. This is the Peaches and Cream shade from the Anastasia Medium to Tan Contour Kit. I'm going to take this and my Real Techniques um, sponge and I'm going to use that to set my uh, concealer on my eyelid. I used to use the my actual face powder, but I felt like it was too brown and my eyeshadows wouldn't show up as good. So I'm not doing that anymore. I mean, I haven't done it for like the last four times I've done my makeup and I like this shade better because it's a lighter shade. But yeah, I have no idea what look I'm going to do, but I know I'm going to use these um, Makeup Geek shadows. I think they're all Makeup Geek except for, they're all Makeup Geek except for these three right here. 
These are Anastasia shadows, but all the rest of these are Makeup Geek. They sent me some lovely shadows, so I'm excited to use those. And I have no idea what this look is gonna look like. So yeah, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna freaking wing it. All my brushes are really, really, really freaking dirty, so don't judge me. I haven't washed them this week, so probably this this weekend I will wash my brushes. But I'm gonna take, after I rearrange all these eyeshadows, I don't know what's what, so I'm trying to make sure I use the right um, transition color. I'm gonna take Caramel by Anastasia and put that in my crease area. This is like the perfect um, transition color for my skin tone. But I haven't really felt that well. Like, you ever experienced like those really, just a really bad week? I had a really, really bad week last week like stressful and it was all work related like none of it was personal life related it was all work related i just had a really bad week to the point where i was just like screw this i'm going on i just had a really rough week and i don't i know why but I was so over it. You ever have those those weeks or those weekends or those days where you're just like, can we fast forward to the next day because this is too much. Um, Chickadee by Makeup Geek. That is in this neutrals palette, which is a shade right here. This is Chickadee by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna take that and put it like a little bit lower than where I put caramel. One that I'm using a Sonia Kashuk number 109 brush. This is like a dupe for the Sigma E40. If you're looking for a dupe, go to Target and get it. It's the number 109 brush from Sonia Kashuk. I kind of want to do something really bright. Or something really dark and I don't know why and but I just want to do something really dramatic I don't know there's this eyeshadow from makeup geek that I really want to freaking use and it's like green I think I'm gonna use that I think it's Jester by Makeup Beats Full Shadow. I'm gonna use that. I'm taking, um, next I'm gonna take Morocco from Anastasia and mix it with Cocoa Bear, which are these two shades right here. This is Cocoa Bear, that's Morocco. I'm gonna mix those two. Cause I just like them mixed together. And I'm gonna go like above where I put that, um, where I put caramel just to deepen it and darken it since I'm going to do something dark now. And this is a Sigma E40. This is my favorite blending brush for crease and transition area because it's, it's like it does all the work for you. You really don't have to do that much with this brush. It's perfect. I'm gonna show you the two brushes compared to each other. I know I've mentioned this in another video. The black one is the E40 and this one is the Sonia Kashuk. This one is fluffier, but they really do the same thing. 
So if you don't want to buy the Sigma one, I recommend this Sonic Kashuk one because it's really good to be from the drugstore. And not a lot of um, drugstore brands have brushes. So yeah, that is a really good brush. I love Sonic Kashuk's brushes. I have like I have that purple like 40th anniversary set that I love. If you ever see me using brushes that look like this, these are Sonic Kashuk brushes. And that was my Bluetooth speaker that was on, but these are Sonic Kashuk brushes and they're bomb. If you ever see me using a brush that's purple and gold, that's what brush that is. Oh. Really don't know what I'm doing. This look comes out looking like trash. Oh, he's so mad. But I'm gonna take Jester, which is this foiled eyeshadow right here. I think this is Jester. Let me make sure I'm telling y'all the right. Yeah, this is Jester foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna take that and put that all over my lid. So I already added a little bit of Jester on my lid, but I applied it dry, but I'm gonna Spray my brush with some Fix Plus and go back in just to make it more vibrant and make it pop more. And I've noticed with these foiled eyeshadows, it's best to kind of tug on the eye and smooth it over. And I go up kind of high because my, um, uh, my eyeshadow tends to transfer into my crease, so I just already put it there, so that way I ain't gonna worry about it. But yeah, I think it's best. I forgot who I saw doing this, but it's much better if you um, just kind of tug the eye and smooth it on. I think it was Jacqueline Hill I saw. She applies like shimmery and foiled eyeshadows like this, so. Shout out to you, Jacqueline. But yeah, I love this color. I don't have a color. I have a green similar to Jester, but she ain't that cute. I'm gonna take um, Dirty Martini eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, which is this green right next to Jester. That's Jester, that's Dirty Martini. And I'm gonna, um, put this into my crease area and this is just a um anastasia double ended brush and i'm just gonna kind of blend blend out this outer crease area with dirty martini which is a really weird name but I like it. I like weird. I'm just applying this to the crease and just kind of blending out the top part of that um, foiled shadow so it don't I transfer. And I don't own a shadow that looks anything like this green. So when I got it, I was just like, I got to use that. Now I'm taking that same um, Sonia Kashuk brush with nothing on it. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of that. It had a little bit of um, chickadee on it, but um, I'm just using it to blend out the edges of that nerdy martini. And 
if you feel like you lost some of the pigmentation of your other eyeshadow, you can always go back in and add a little bit more, whatever you blend it away. And just um, go back in with your other brush, blend that out. And yeah, I'm not gonna do any wing liner because wing liner, like me and wing liner don't get along. So yeah, also while I was off camera, I applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion right here. That's why it looks kind of ashy. And I just applied, applied that to my smile line area because my foundation tends to crease right here in the mouth, the smile line area because I guess I'm too happy of a person and I have really bad smile lines. So yeah, I'm gonna take some mascara and coat my lashes to prep them for the falsies. This is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. It's like my favorite drugstore mascara. Like this is all I use from the drugstore. Okay, I lied. I use the um, L'Oreal Telescopic too, the carbon black one. But I ran into that one, so I had to stop using it. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes and apply these bomb velour lashes. Oh my God. I've been wearing these like nonstop since I got them. They're so bomb. I love them so much. Like, they still got a little bit of glue on them, but do y'all see that? They kind of remind me of the Grand Glamour, but not as like double layered and they're not uncomfortable on the eye. Even though they do have a thick lash band, they're not uncomfortable on the eye. And I hate those Grand Glamour lashes because they're so freaking uncomfortable on the eye. They are the most uncomfortable eyelash I've ever worn in my life. Like they weigh 50 pounds. And no matter how much you cut them or what, like they still feel like Super duper heavy. I'm like blinking, looking stupid. I know people looking at me like, what the heck is wrong with her eyes? Girl, if you only knew, that's some grand glamours. That's a shame. I'm setting my eyebrows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Because I feel like if I don't set my eyebrows before I do my foundation and powder, they move around. So I'm just going to set those really fast. A lot of people ask me why I brush my eyebrow hairs up in the front. That's how they grow. So if y'all don't like it, don't look at it. Life has been, I ain't gonna try to put that eyelash on right now. Life has been, what's the word? Okay. It's been okay. Besides last week, last week was just freaking horrible, man. Like, I came home and Jake was like, I could tell you had a bad day. I was like, I've been having a bad week, man. It's been pure hell. Really? This is kind of why I don't like doing talk through videos because I live by this um this um store and their alarm always goes off. That's if you hear that again, that's what that is. That's their store alarm going off. It's really bad when it rains. Like It'll just, it'll go on for hours. It's very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. But I can't do nothing about it. So if, another thing is, um, if you're wondering why I never do like videos where I'm sitting down and talking, it's cause literally the side of my house is 
that store and that alarm will just go off and off and off and off and on and off and on and off. And they're closed, so nobody's there like turn it off. So that's annoying too. Like, I mean, I like filming talk through videos, but I just can't because it's too loud outside. Either somebody outside make a noise or that freaking alarm's going off next door. And I like these. I like these lashes because I can bend the lash band even though it's thick but they're flexible at the same time and I look crazy with one eyelash on. I don't see how people put their eyelashes on like looking down like I have to like sometimes I have to close my eye or look up but I don't want to block the camera so. Another thing, people be outside talking loud as hell. Excuse my language, but they be loud. Oh my dang, is this late at night? Y'all outside making all that noise. And I don't even live in a bad neighborhood. I live where it's like old people with. And they still be outside. And I like these lashes because they're so easy to put on. Like, I put these lashes on in like two minutes, if that, two seconds. They're easy to apply. Now that I'm done with that, I'm taking my Maybelline Baby Skin and Prime. I need a new primer. Like, I was sick of using this. So, if you have any recommendations as a some new primers to use, it don't matter if it's height. I thought I was using the old one and I'm using the new one. And I just squirted primer everywhere. Like, I don't know if I put all this on my face. I'm crazy. I'm leaving it in that top just like that. <laughs> and next time I put my makeup on, I'll just grab it out of the top. I can't believe I did that. Anyway. Um, if you recommend any primers for, I feel like my skin has changed. I used to be oily, but I think it's where I'm, when I moved out of Florida, my skin is not as oily because the climate change from being in Kentucky, like my skin is not even oily. Like in Florida, I couldn't wear this um, primer I'm putting on my face right now because it would just make my makeup slide right off of my face like slide right off but if you have any primers that you recommend for uh, preferably I like smoothing primers so anything smoothing works also another new obsession I've only used this brush from my um, my makeup brush set, oval brush set for foundation. Like I used it a while ago in a video that I never uploaded and I was just like, I don't like it. But I realized if I spray this brush, it's dirty because I've been using it. If I spray this with a little bit of water, like two sprays of water, this is water. If you ever see me spraying this on anything, it's just water in this little bottle. I don't have any of that NYX spray. I don't really like it. So I just spray that with water and then I apply my foundation. Cause I noticed if I spray it with water, it doesn't like go on as streaky and it gives like a natural airbrush finish. I'm taking my Revlon Colorstay make our uh, foundation in the shade Cappuccino. I'm going to do one pump of this on the brush. And then I'm going to do two pumps of my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Chestnut. I'm going to do two pumps of this on the brush. 
I'm gonna need more, but. And I just apply this to my face, like this. I kind of like dot it all over, and then I go in. It looks a little crazy, but I'm gonna go in with more of the Revlon color stay and darken it, cause that Too Faced foundation is really light. I got a hair on here. But also, I have a discount code for these brushes if you want some. I will leave it down below in the description box. What I like to do is apply it with this first and then go in with my beauty, be blah, blah. <laughs> my beauty blender and like blend it out more. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of my Revlon color stay and just apply it all over just to darken it because this is a darker concealer or foundation. So I'm going to do that and then blend it out with my beauty blender and then you'll see how it looks. With my beauty blender, just so it looks more skin like, and I'm gonna even it out. It looks a little bit orange on camera, but I promise in person it don't look like that. But I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande, and I've really been liking this concealer. It was not that that light, although it looks lighter on camera. It's really not that light. This is like maybe. Um, one one to one and a half shades lighter than my skin tone. And I watched a um, a video by Jackie Ina Ina. I forget how to say her name. Anyways, on YouTube, and she says to apply your concealer, but for a fuller coverage. You want to um, let it sit for a little bit. So I've been doing that and I've been loving it. Like I will put it under my eye because I want the most coverage under my eye. And then everywhere else. So I'll blend out everything else before I blend out my under eye area. Just because I want that to kind of like settle in. And look more flawless under under my eye versus everywhere else on my face. So I'll blend out everywhere else but under my eye. And um, do that last. So that it, um, it can like soak in and be more full coverage. Cause I noticed like she did like a side by side where she put some on 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 this side of her face and she blended it out immediately and then she put some on and kind of like let this sit on this side and she blended it out and this side where she let it sit it was more full coverage and I was just like why didn't why haven't I been doing this like yeah so um I just Blending this out, and then I'm going to go in and blend it around. And it doesn't, I noticed with this concealer, it doesn't get really like tacky or sticky. Once you let it sit, it actually, I feel like it blends out better if you let it sit with this particular concealer. And it don't look patchy and it don't look cakey. So that's another plus for this concealer. And I can't see 
I don't know if I need glasses or what, but my mirror is literally like right here. And I can see, I think I'm just sitting back too far. So yeah. And my lighting's crazy because I changed my backdrop. Cause I feel like this backdrop, it makes the colors look better on camera. So I'm just blending that out still cause I don't want any creases. And I'm gonna take my, if I can find it, my NARS translucent crystal powder. And I got a new one. I was so happy when I got a new one. Oh my gosh. I've used it a couple times, but it's new. It's not jacked up like the other one. And I just take my Real Technique sponge and rub it in there really good. Get some on there. And press it into the skin. Can't really bake with a pressed powder. Which is one reason why I like it because I don't like baking because my under eye area is too freaking dry. So I just put this on and press it into my under eye area and the side of my nose because I noticed I get like, I get oily there. So, and my concealer tends to crease like right here in the fold area. So yeah. Then I'll take whatever's left over on the sponge and go like around my mouth and on top of my nose. And I'll take a little bit more. This time I just like tap it because I don't want too much on my forehead. And I just um, set in between my brows and my forehead where I applied the concealer. And I take a little more and set where I applied the concealer right here. I'm telling y'all, that powder is the bomb. Like, that's the best powder I've ever used in my life. Like, if they stop making that, I'm gonna be so sad. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder and Classic Tan. The top broke off, so I've just been like, leaving it out. But I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this. And this is a Coastal Sense Flat. I don't know the name of it, but it's a Coastal Sense BR110 brush. It reminds me of a lot of the Sigma F80. I don't own that, but it looks just like it. And it works just, just as good for the price. I think this brush is like $5. And I can use it for powder. And I've used it for applying my liquid foundation and I love this brush it's really good it's really soft use the Anastasia brush and I'm gonna take dirty martini by makeup geek and run this under my lower lash line I'm not being precise I'm just like slopping it under there I don't like when you're, I don't like it on me. I like it on other people, but I don't like when my lower lash line looks all like defined. I like it look defined, but I like it to look smoky too. So I'm just smoking it out. And also I'm gonna take a little bit of, I don't even know the name of the shadow. Enchanted Forest, which is a darker green right here. And I'm gonna run that closer to my lash line area since I'm not putting liner on my lower lash line area my lash line is done now I see where my eyelash is coming off. No, that's not coming off. That was just a little bit of lash glue stuck to my um, upper lash line. But these lashes are so bomb. I really like this. I normally don't do like green. I really like it. 
Um, next, I'm going to contour. I also have some contour shades from Makeup Geek that they sent me. And I have, I think I have Deal Breaker and Half Hearted. I have the Half Hearted is a warm medium contour shade and Deal Breaker is a warm deep contour shade. And the two like on top are blushes, excuse my camera. But this is um, Deal Breaker and this is Half Hearted. I think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use that one. And I think I wanna use um, this blush, which is Covet. I have Covet and Infatuation blushes. So that's what those look like. They kind of look a little washed out, but they're gorgeous. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use these two. I'm gonna use these two over here. So I'm gonna take my Real Techniques um, contour brush, which is what I've been reaching for lately for contouring. And I'm gonna take um, I can't remember the name of these. I'm gonna take Deal Breaker by Makeup Geek and I'm going to chisel out my cheeks. I think I found a new baby. And I don't really like my contour to be like really straight. I kind of like to blend it up a little bit so it doesn't look like just one sharp, harsh line. And oh my God, this is such a pretty color. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's like perfect. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna take the lighter shade right here and go like on my forehead area cause Baby. Like this um, angled coastal scents brush that I always use for like my bronzer. I normally use the black radiance bronzer, but I'm not using that. Um, this is a coastal scents BRCN25 brush. That's just the name of it. It probably has a name, but I don't know the exact name. And I'm just nothing is on this brush. I mean, there's a little bit of the black radiance stuff on it but I'm just gonna blend this out because this brush is heaven when it comes to blending out like contour or bronzer it just does all the work for you and Coastal Sands has really good brushes they really do I'm gonna take this um BH Cosmetics, like, this brush don't have a name, but this is the brush set. If you go on their website, I don't know what it's called, but this is just one of those. I call them blush brushes. That's what I use it for. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking Covet blush, and I'm going to put that on my cheeks. Which is really pretty. I'm glad I picked out this color. It's really, really, really pretty. They also sent me this little like um, empty palette to put my blushes and contour shades in. So, and these are refillable pans. So, yeah. I really like that palette, it's really pretty. But I'm just blending my, I like to blend my blush in with my contour so it looks seamless, it, like it's a gradient effect. So yeah, next is my favorite part, the lips and the highlight. So I'm gonna be using Peach Nectar Illuminator by Anastasia. And I'm going to be using, um, I'll use Peach Nectar first and then I'm going to put bronzed from the Sun Dip Glow Kit on top. So, 
bear with me. I'm using a Morphe M501 to apply these two highlighters. I feel like my lighting is like so off, but I'm sorry. I think I had my camera on the wrong setting when I started filming, so I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna take bronzed and apply that right on top. Never use just one highlighter, ever. Also, how people do it. Like, how you put on just one highlighter? Highlighters look so much better if you layer them. It's kind of like lipstick. Lipsticks look so much better if you layer those too. And I'm gonna take bronzed and stick that on my nose. Keep as well. right above the eyebrow because everybody wants to look like a glazed donut right or is it just me i'm the only one who wants to look like a glazed donut oh okay bronzed and stick that in my inner corner I always use, whatever I use to highlight my face, I use that same color just to highlight my inner tear duct because it just makes it look. It makes your eyes appear more open versus more closed. It just makes your eyes pop more. And I'm taking bronzed and doing that. It just makes your eyes look bigger, even though my eyes are already big. Who don't want big eyes? And the brush I always use for that is a Sigma E30. I always use the Sigma E30 pencil brush to apply my inner corner tear duct area glow. So, I feel like I have a hair like on my face somewhere now I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna really Ebony I dropped my fix plus I'm gonna spray my face with fix plus I like to do this before I do my mascara because I feel like if I do it after my mascara transfers to my cheek area so I like to spray my face first then do my bottom mascara I don't know why I said, did I say eyeliner Spray my face first, then do my bottom mascara. If I said eyeliner, I'm sorry. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna um, use my, I've noticed when I've been using this Lancome like lash primer, it makes my bottom eyelashes like pop out so much more like after I put this on and then put my mascara on top it just looks I don't know if it's just because the two mascaras I use are Lancome and they just work well together but even if I use this lash primer with my Maybelline um mascara on the bottom it looks so bomb like this stuff this is the Lancome Sills Booster XL super enhancing mascara base and this is like a little sample size of it i got it at sephora and i was just like i ain't gonna use that like i ain't gonna use that junk but i used it and i was like what so yeah i'm putting that on my lower lashes and i kind of like to comb them the way that i want them to look so that way they stay like that when i put the mascara on I feel like this is almost like a a foundation for your eyelashes because it um however you put this on 
your eyelashes like stay like that. It's like a mold almost. I don't know. But it's just really bomb. And I'm gonna take my Lancome. It's all rubbed off, but this is a Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. And I need to get a big size of this because I freaking love it. So yeah, but I'm gonna put that right on top of that other one. I can never do like mask bottom mascara on camera in in the frame because I have to get so close. But I love these two together. You probably can't see because I have all the green under there. But I don't know if I told you or not. I used Enchanted Forest um, eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and dirty martini together and put that on my bottom lash line area and i just took the um one of these anastasia double ended brushes and just like blended it out and blowed it out now i'm gonna take um uh, for my lips i was gonna go with like a dark lip but i feel like the eyes are already like dramatic so i want to keep the lips kind of like neutral I'm using Max Chestnut Liner just to line my lips. Cause my ColourPop um, Pitch Liner is in my purse and it's downstairs. I don't feel like getting up to go get it. So I use Chestnut and I'm taking Anastasia's sepia i feel like a lot of people say this wrong this name wrong it's sepia not i hear people say sepia sepia i'm just like it's sepia and this is my all-time favorite um liquid lipstick shade by her sepia liquid lipstick and sepia gloss are my two favorite um lip colors from Anastasia along with Ashton Ashton is they perfect red brick color for any skin tone I didn't want to take away from the eyes so kind of kept the lips kind of toned down so they're not as boom in your face but I always go back over with whatever liner just to define my lips again. But yeah, this is the finished look. Really glowy. Like my highlight always looks 50 times more glowy on camera than it does in real life. But I really, really, really like it. And shout out to Makeup Geek for sending me all these goodies. No, this video is not sponsored, but I just thought I'd use like some new products. So um, yeah, I've really been loving the NARS concealer and these velour lashes. Like these lashes are bomb. I need to go and get like three more pair from Sephora. But um, yeah, just... I never know it's filmed, so just leave me like video requests. Um, follow me on all my social media. It's all linked down below. Instagram, um, Twitter, and Snapchat is all down below. And if you um, have any video requests, just either hit me up on all my social media or just leave them down below in the comment section. But yeah, I really like this look. I like how it came out came out I like how it came out like it's not too I don't know I've never done like green up top and green on the bottom so that's what like it's giving me life right now but thank you so much for watching um don't forget to 
thumbs up this video comment rate subscribe share it if you like it and yeah i'll see you in my next video